So, The Wanderer, aka Skyrimush, aka this son of a bitch, is a new 5 star animal catalyst user coming in Genshin Impact 3.3. I will explain in this video how good he is compared to other characters, and we are gonna see if he is a better DPS than, let's say, Xiao. Make sure you watch till the end to find out. First off is his normal attacks. His normal attack will be the most important part of his kit. It's because of the signature weapon, his signature artifact, and his elemental skill will always buff his normal attack. And what makes his normal attack attack so good is because he is the catalyst user, which causes his normal attack to deal animal damage and swirl with every single hit. But the downside of being a catalyst user is his charged attack will cause 50 stamina, so just use the wanderer's normal attack to punch your way through the enemies like Hazel does. The wanderer's elemental skill will do a small amount of damage, elevate himself up, turn his normal attacks into projectiles with bigger AoE, and also buff his normal and charged attacks for 6 seconds. Wait, do I miss something? Yeah, his charged attack will not consume any stamina, so his elemental skill is broken, yes and no. This skill allows you to turn on creative mode and deal a considerable amount of damage within a fixed time. If the enemies you are fighting don't have a way to hit you, you are basically invulnerable, but mind you, this skill will be easily interrupted and its multiplier is not as impressive as Yoimiya or Ayato, so it's not a game breaking skill or anything. The Wanderer's Burst is literally just STEP ON ME DADDY. It kicks an animal ball that deals 5 instances of 265% at level 10, so that's 1325% total. It's one of the highest scaling bursts in the game to date. It requires 60 energy points and has 16 seconds cooldown, so I'm pretty sure you can spam his burst during combat. Also, it just casts a Wanderer's burst after you have finished your rotation since it will end his flying mode. The Wanderer's first ascension talent is whenever you cast your elemental skill, you will gain a buff according to the element you come to contact with. With Pyro, you gain 30% attack damage. With Cryo, you gain 20% crit rate. With Electro, your normal attacks will recharge your energy. And with Hydro, you will increase your flying point, which will allow you to traverse further. I say the Pyro and Cryo buffs are pretty good. The Electro one is okay if you are low on energy, and for the Hydro one, it's kinda useless, not gonna lie. It offers no damage buff, just utility buff for exploration, and that is not even that great, since you have to find a body of water to use this buff. The Wanderer's second second ascension talent is during attack in his elemental skill, you have a 16% chance and increasing by 12% consecutively to gain a buff which will give you a free flying point, which is a free sprint in mid-air and fires off 4 animal projectiles, each dealing 35% of his attack damage as animal damage. This passive is a nice addition to his damage and mobility overall. It will turn Scaramouche from a helicopter with guns to a flying jet with missiles chasing the enemy's booty. So with all that in mind, will he be the best DPS in the game, even better than Xiao? My answer is no. It is no coincidence that Hoyoverse decided to give the Wanderer his dedicated artifact, best in slot weapon, and his very own animal support, Farazan, upon his release. If you somehow manage to get all these criteria, then your expected output DPS will be a little higher than Xiao. And then, even then, Xiao got buffed thanks to Farazan's release, so I can't really tell which one is the better animal DPS. What I can say is, if you got Xiao, then you don't need to pull for the Wanderer since he is not worth investing investing all your resources into him when you have a decent animal DPS like Xiao. And no, he is not a must pull character since you not only need to invest in leveling him up, give him a decent weapon, but you also need to farm for his artifact and then level up Farazan. And I say it's not worth the time and effort while you got Hu Tao or Raiden Shogun in the upcoming rerun battle, so you can pull for the Wanderer if you are a fan of him or find his playstyle interesting. But it all depends on personal preferences. Once you can clear the abyss with 36 stars, it will only matter which character you like to play with, not the strongest or the meta. So will you pull for Scary Mouge or save up for the future characters? Let me know in the comment section below. If you find this video useful, please leave a like for the algorithm and help my channel grow. It will be very much appreciated.